This video is going to be a short little case study on a wooden frame pole barn in Easton, Kansas. And it's a typical pole barn. Uh, he really has no intent of either heating it or cooling or air conditioning it. But, of course, Easton, Kansas is a very typical what we call mixed climate area. It can get blazing hot there in the summer and it can get super cold in the winter. So, of course, uh, this, this metal building in the summer, it's like a car parked in the sun. It's just a big metal box sitting in the sun. It can be unbelievably hot. And of course, in the winter, you get warm, moist air inside that building, and you're going to get condensation on that cold metal. And I've got a link in the uh, description below to an article I wrote about what causes condensation in metal buildings. So check that out. But the main point of this video is to show you how just one simple application of Bluetex insulation can make a huge difference both in the comfort in the summer and to eliminate uh, condensation in the winter. What he did is he used the 2 millimeter Bluetex Pro uh, and he basically just applied it to the bottom of the wood purlins. He ran it between his rafters and he actually used roofing cap nails. You can either use cap nails, you can use staples, we also provide uh, screws and washers that work well, but basically uh, any way you attach it, it, it doesn't really matter as long as it stays up. And what's great about wood frame buildings is they're actually a lot easier than metal frame because you can just, you can staple, you can use the nails, you can uh, use anything and it's going to stay up great. So he basically ran it between his rafters uh, from, from the drip edge up to the, the ridge. He actually encapsulated the whole thing. So you're still going to have airflow uh, between the metal and the Blutex. And so what's going to happen is two parts. One, the foil side facing up, that's basically like a big tree landing over the building. It's going to reflect 97% of the radiant heat. So that building is going to be significantly cooler. It's almost like a big umbrella uh, for the building. Now in the winter, we've created a new internal surface that's going to stay above the dew point. And the key here is that warm moist air can never get to the cold metal. It's going to hit that new internal surface. It's going to be staying above the dew point. And physics says that if that surface temperature is above the dew point, you will not have condensation. So you can eliminate condensation with the Bluetex also. So this install was about as simple and fast as you get. Um, two people, they knocked this thing out in uh, less than a day. And he said you could instantly tell the, the difference just in part of the building where they had the Bluetex up and the part that they didn't. He said... Literally, you'd walk on one side of the building and, and you could feel the difference in the amount of heat coming off that metal roof. And we hear that every day. I mean, that's what Radiant Barrier does. It's basically like standing under a tree as opposed to standing in the sun. So bang for the buck, it is a quick and easy thing to do. He did it just on his roof. Obviously, that's the biggest part of the box where the most heat is coming in. And that's where the moisture and condensation uh, occurs the most. And on non-conditioned or non-heated buildings... Um, that's really all you need a lot of the times. So if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It, uh, it really does help. It tells YouTube that you like this content and it helps uh, recommend this video to others. For any more information, give us a call or visit the website, bluetechinsulation.com.